So believe it or not, guys, not every woman is going to be attracted to you for X a number of reasons, but I want you to consider, at least from my point of view in this video, is that I want you to also bear in mind that right now there are going to be women that are attracted to you. Now, earlier this week, I actually put a video out talking about the number one trait that women are interested in that 99% of men don't have. And in it, I spoke about the idea that men need to learn to take the initiative. They need to be taking risks if they want to be getting any kind of results with women. And interestingly enough, I had uh, a comment or two from people saying like, oh, well, you know, women only are attracted to high and money. And I responded with saying, look, don't get me wrong, they are factors and there are women out there that are just genuinely attracted to that kind of clout. But to sort of say that every woman is going to be like that is just a ridiculous statement. And I said as well that, you know what, there are plenty of attractive, tall, good looking, rich guys that I've met over the years in the dating industry who have terrible results with women. And in fact, they've actually been jealous of much shorter, not so attractive or not so much attractive, um, uh, maybe also not so rich uh, men who are getting fantastic results with women because they are at least putting themselves out there and learning to take risks. And of course, during that, they are building their confidence and they are reaching some kind of level of self-actualization. So I do think, though, that unfortunately, a lot of this, uh, these limiting beliefs that men have that, you know, the only way you're ever going to get women is if you're in that 1% of men has really come down to a lot of these online dating podcasts that have certainly materialized over the last few years. Now, you have to understand that a lot of these shows, they bring on these very delusional young women because they want to get the clicks. But an issue that I have with this, though, especially when you've got young, uh, impressionable men who are watching this content, is that they take it as gospel. They believe like this is what the dating world has for them. This is what they're going to expect when they're finally old enough to put themselves out there and go on a date and start drinking in a bar and stuff. And it's just not necessarily the case. And in fact, I think it's not really teaching guys how to have a very uh, healthy dating life if they're going in with the expectation that, oh, every woman that they meet is going to cheat on them or every woman is only after money or after power or after building reputation and so on. There are plenty of women out there who are looking for genuine guys who want to have a relationship or have a family and, and so on. And you can't just put every single woman in the same box and expect like, oh, well, that's the expectation. I think it's a very bitter, limiting belief to have. And it's going to prevent you from wanting to actually get uh, better results for yourself in your own day in life. So I want you to just consider this particular mindset that even if right now you're not very confident, maybe you're very shy, you're very anxious, maybe you're not very attractive, maybe you just don't have the best social life or you haven't got the best job in the world and so on, I want you to grasp this idea that right now there are actually women that would be attracted to you that if you were to put yourself out there in the world, whether it be through cold approaching or going to social events of sorts, and you were to work on your confidence and believe in yourself more, that there would actually be women out there that would be attracted to you, that would want to be your girlfriend right now. And I think for a lot of guys that might be a like, no, I don't believe it. I don't think it's possible. Hand on heart, I can genuinely and honestly say that after my 16 years of seeing so many men who have entered the dating industry who haven't been confident, they haven't been necessarily attractive, they've had the worst fashion sense in the world, they haven't made loads of money, maybe even some have certainly had mental health issues, every single one of those men in some form or another have gotten results 
because they've put in that dedication and commitment to working on that area of their life and building themselves up to self-actualize uh, or to a level of self-actualization. It's about that confidence and confidence in yourself as well as what your expectation would be if you were to put yourself out there into the uh, the dating pool. So don't just be trapped in this, I think the word would be dogma actually, don't be trapped in this dogma of thinking that if you're not successful, if you're not good looking or attractive and so on, that every single woman isn't going to be attracted to you. I can assure you, build your confidence, believe in yourself more, work on your fashion, work on your fitness, nutrition. If you want, work on getting a better job, but just feel more happy in your own skin and be confident that if you were to put yourself out there and meet women, that you would get results. I can assure you, you will create a self-fulfilling prophecy of getting results with women. So I think that's probably everything that I wanted to, to mention here. Um, like I say, this video sort of, sp this the idea for this video was sparked because of a comment and it I just don't want guys to necessarily think that, you know, if you're going to be watching all these podcasts and stuff, that that is what the dating world is that, you know, are, and, and it annoys me as well. In fact, actually, yeah, it annoys me as well where I have um, seen, I think, comments on like other dating coaches videos and they're like, oh, this is crap. It's not going to work. It's not possible. And, and all oh, this is fake and stuff. But there is a lot of effort that like even a dating coach would put into their dating lives to get the results. And you see their physical body almost change with confidence and how they look after themselves and treat themselves mentally and physically, which is what gets them their results. But when they overcame a lot of their limiting beliefs of like, oh, it's not possible for me to do this, to shifting to it is possible, that's where they then get all of their best results in the dating world. And if there's guys that are, you know, leaving comments saying like, oh, this isn't possible, then argue the case then. Why isn't this possible? Is it not possible for everyone in general? Or are you saying that it's not possible just for yourself? Because if that one's the case, then it's a limiting belief. I would then probably play devil's advocate and say, I want to, I want to challenge you. Do you genuinely believe then that it's not possible for you to get results? Have you even tried to put yourself out there and get results? If you have, then why not go to a dating coach and get them to look at, well, what's gone wrong? Whereas if you just aren't doing anything and then you're complaining about other people, I think it's probably safe to say that, you know what, well, you want to bring other people down to your level rather than genuinely see the possibility in lifting yourself up. So I don't want to end up going into a rant with this, but I mean, the, the point is, is that, you know what, you can't just rely on everything that you see online, especially from these dating podcasts. You need to experience dating in real life. Put yourself out there, see what the world has to offer, and you will be surprised that a lot of this stuff that you do see online, especially on these podcasts, it, you really, you definitely, as a young guy, you don't want to be taking that advice on board. It's, just, In fact, I wouldn't even call it advice. I'd say a lot of it just really isn't advice at all. So I do hope that this video has been somewhat useful for you. I'd love to actually hear in the comments below your thoughts on this. Uh, I've tried to do my very best not to turn this into uh, a rant video because it's more just trying to bring awareness to this limiting belief that I think some men might have out in the world and that, you know what, the online world really doesn't give you everything that you need to cater to having a healthy dating life and also just to bring some awareness to the mental health side of, you know, just focusing on what you learn through all this online content as well that if you do just genuinely believe that 
you know, that you're never going to be capable of love because you're not attractive or you've got the best job or whatever, then you are going to fall into a very, very depressive trap. And I really do not want to be hearing of people taking their lives in in some form or another because they've just been told that they aren't good enough and that will never improve for them. So if, in fact, if you do find that something like that is the case, please, by all means, reach out to me and we can have a discussion about what you can be doing to go forward and change your life for the better. Um, Check out my services on my website as well. I offer a range of different things from life coaching to my dating desensitization therapy, which is essentially cold approaching for beginners, um, as well as I can help with your anxiety and traumas in dating through my integral eye movement therapy too. But other than that, if you can please like the video, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all things that's going to help you with your dating anxiety. And of course, I've been Dan, that dating anxiety guy. Thank you very much for watching and look forward to more videos from me.